All right, Legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to cool our wart down. And in this video, we're going to sanitize our carboy. So here's star sand, probably the most important factor of homebrew. It doesn't matter if your carboy has been cleaned with OxyClean or PBW. You need to cleanse your carboy and everything else that comes into contact with your beer with star sand. Now, especially with our wart being cooled down because it's super vulnerable to infection. Star sand is super strong food grade acid that's going to kill any bacteria that might be on your homebrew equipment. It doesn't matter if you get it all over your hands, just don't drink it and don't confuse it with cleaner. Sanitizer and cleaner are completely different. Okay, so how much star sand do we need? Great question. An ounce of star sand for every five gallons of water. I don't want to waste that much star sand because it's pretty expensive, so I'm just going to use half an ounce with 2.5 gallons of water. And if you don't have a measurement on your bottle, just use a shot glass to gauge it. Okay, so now that we got our bucket with 0.5 ounces of, or half an ounce of star sand and 2.5 gallons of water, now we're gonna drop all these items into our bucket of water and star sand. We have the bung right here. We're gonna put our yeast in the bucket. Uh, the packet is waterproof, don't worry about it. Our airlock, yours might not look like this, but this is the one that I'm using. Our hydrometer, this is how we're going to gauge our original gravity, hence uh, determining how much alcohol by volume will be in our beer. Uh, our hose and our auto siphon, which is both of these parts, the racking cane and the tube. Uh, and I'm gonna throw my scissors in there too. The auto siphon probably won't fit in the bucket, so just grab a cup, maybe like a plastic cup, and just keep pouring Star sand over the top parts of the auto siphon or flip it upside down. Just do whatever it takes to get the auto siphon in contact with the star sand. Now let's get our star sand from our plastic bucket to our carboy. I don't know, but for some reason I love auto siphoning. So get your star sand from your bucket into your carboy. Now shake your carboy up for about 30 seconds. This is debatable. Everyone says you need to leave it in there for a couple minutes, but I just, I just splash it around for maybe for a couple seconds. The acid's so strong, it's gonna eat anything up. It's not gonna be a problem. Just do it for 30 seconds for good measure. Shake, shake it around for 30 seconds. The bottling bucket should still have all of your homebrew back in it. And uh, okay, now, this is important. When you rinse your carboy back out, don't worry about this foam. Don't go ahead and rinse it back out with water. That would completely defeat the purpose. Your water has bacteria in it and that could spoil our beer. Just leave whatever what do they say? Don't fear the foam. Just leave that in here. It's not going to kill you. The alcohol will kill it off. It's not going to affect your beer at all. Most importantly, do not rinse the remaining star sand and your carboy with water. Just don't worry about the foam. Good luck with this, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.